Hi folks, I'm Grim, and welcome to Grim Grooves, a channel where I react to and review music of all kinds. Today we've got another song from Black Myth Wukong. This one's called The Precept and the Web, and this is another one that was suggested by you guys, and I'm excited to check it out because the other songs I've heard from Black Myth have been amazing, uh, and this one I'm sure will be just as good, if not better. Well, I guess we'll see. <laughs> I mean, my first video I said is all Black Myth Wukong music this good, and so far the first two I've heard have been incredible. So like I said, this is it's exciting. But if you got anything else you'd like me to check out, throw it down in the comments. And while you're down there, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, because I still got plenty more from this game as well as so many others to check out. So, <laughs> excited for all the new stuff that'll come my way and that you guys can give me. But without further ado, let's check out The Precept and the Web. This is already so very beautiful. Like, it's stunning how just such a small uh, amount of elements can kind of invoke such emotions already. Like just a mellow piano in the background and then the two vocalists now kind of going back and forth. And again, you can feel the emotion coming off of it, like both the piano at the beginning as well as the vocalists. So this is going to be a very touching song, I can already tell. I mean, it already is. So we'll see where it goes, but I'm excited because there is beauty and sadness sometimes. And this is very touching. <laughs> Both of these vocalists are incredibly talented. Like I, I love their voices. They just, it just sounds so nice. Even though I can't understand what they're saying, and I'm sure if I if I knew the lyrics, I, it would be even more impactful. Unfortunately, there's no subtitles here, so I'll have to make do with just the audio. But it's still absolutely beautiful. And like I said, those vocals are so good. Like, incredible vocals, incredibly skilled. <laughs> Their harmonizing is so nice too. Like each vocalist sounds amazing on their own, but when they're harmonizing together, it just amplifies it so much. And at this point, the only instruments we really have is the mellow piano uh, in the background and what almost sounds like a theremin or something like that. Like, I'm not sure what that other instrument is that's kind of coming in. Like, I, I have a feeling when I go back, you'll be able to catch it because it's just like very airy, almost uh, again, theremin like sound. It might be a theremin, it's very possible, but might also be some kind of uh, instrument from China or something like that that I'm not familiar with, but this is fantastic regardless. Like, I'm really loving this. Oh. Uh... 
The use of percussion there was so masterful. Like, it's not overbearing. Like, there's not like a driving drum beat throughout this whole thing. But to emphasize certain words and certain phrases and certain kind of parts of the melody, there's just this kind of like cacophonous boom uh, of a kind of percussion instrument or like little like clicking almost like uh, hitting the edges of the drum or something just in certain elements that kind of again help to amplify the overall experience and the way that the piano came in before and was like uh, much louder and much more pronounced uh, in a different key I believe but that was absolutely stunning as well and also I haven't mentioned yet but these background scenes that we're seeing here they're also amazing looking like I believe it's just areas from the game that they, they were working on at this time but this it looks amazing like I can't wait to play this game Now we're getting an alternate version of the chorus, but with the strings in the background. Now there's their addition of the, the violin, which is very nice. It helps to round out that melody even more so. Like, it was already incredible beforehand, but yeah, this is just, it keeps getting better. <laughs> want to stop and mention the drums as i was saying before how they masterfully choose the exact moments that'll kind of add a lot of um focus i guess uh, there's another word i'm missing but uh it adds that kind of like extra elements that are kind of needed to kind of change up the melody overall like especially for the chorus like it takes that main melody that we already had the piano and the two singers singing who are doing a fantastic job and then it adds in the drums, but it's done in very, like, strategic positions that just amplify the entire thing. And now this is the most focused we've gotten from those drums, and it just, it makes it so much more meaningful and so much more impactful than it was before with just the other versions of the chorus we've gotten before. And now we're going into a string breakdown for the, probably near the end, but this is incredible. This, again, <laughs> Black Myth of Wukong music is all amazing, from what I've heard anyways. was so touching and beautiful but such an interesting melody and so catchy like uh, that main chorus melody again although i don't understand the lyrics it's still very impactful like i could feel the emotions pouring off of this the entire time and just like how meaningful it all is even though i don't know the context i don't know what the song is about necessarily it doesn't really matter 
I mean, obviously, I will have to look up the uh, lyrics because I'm curious. But at the same time, like, it still hits the same, even just hearing the music and the melodies and things like that. It's very simple for the most part. Like, obviously, they um, mixed things up as time went on and kind of evolved the melody to become more than what it started as. But on its surface, all it really needed to be was just the piano and the two vocalists and the way that they were harmonizing together. Just each vocalist on their own was so skilled and so talented in what they were doing. And being able to kind of harmonize together like that was just so exceptional. Like, it just kept blowing me away how good that was. Like, you can kind of tell how much I'm enjoying a song by how much I pause in the video just because of the things I want to talk about. It just keeps blowing me away how interesting and how unique and how well done this was. Like, yeah, Black Myth Wukong is just kind of on another level when it comes to uh, this style of game's music. This was amazing. But anyways, thanks for hanging out. I, and if you enjoyed, then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, because I've got a lot more on the way. But until next time, later days, folks. Thank <laughs> you.